Hi, I'm Heather, also known as Heathwitch, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a practicing witch who likes to review witchcraft related goodies. Today we're going to be unboxing the August 2020 witch casket. So if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe and share and give me a thumbs up. So Witch Casket is a UK company that provides a mystery sus subscription box every month for witches and pagans and other magic users. I personally like the boxes very much, which is why I do the unboxing videos. This video is not sponsored by Witch Casket in, in any way. This is my personal subscription that I have decided to unbox on camera just to spread the joy and the delight of revealing the mystery and looking at all the goodies. So let's take a look. So the theme for August 2020 is courage. Oh, fantastic. So Witch Casket are really connecting with the themes that we need in the world at the moment. The July 2020 box was for healing. So now we have courage. Fantastic themes to have in the middle of global crises as we are facing right now, whether it be pandemics, upcoming elections, um, natural disasters, all those sorts of things. So this box, I'm hoping for great things. Now, I never, ever look at the information booklet about what's in the box until the very end because I like to be surprised. So let's have a look. So the first thing is an envelope that says, Witch Casket Courage Postcard Collection. I love this wax seal we've got here. I've got a thing about wax seals. I really, really like them. Um, I really don't want to break it, but let's have a look. Let's see if I can do it without. I don't think this is true. I don't know. No, that's not true wax. That's an effect, but never mind. It doesn't spoil the effect at all. And here's the postcards. Fearless Witch. Oh, we need lots of those right now. Rise up. Do your healing work. Hex the patriarchy. Offer your protection spells. Fantastic. Impossible things take courage and a little magic. That they do. That they do. That's very motivational. Liquid courage. Not in the form of alcohol. This could quite easily be a courage potion. And bravery is a hidden treasure we all hold. That's lovely. Gentle advice, but really lovely. Back to Fearless Witch again. I love this sword with the bat motif and the pentacle pommel. Fearless Witch. I love this. This will probably go on my wall somewhere. I like the two motivational postcards as well. They work very nicely together. I love the treasure map aspect of this one and all the little pentacle stars over here. This reminds me a little bit of Alice in Wonderland, but also reminds me a little bit of just potions in general and maybe a little bit Harry Potter-ish. Finding the courage within ourselves. What a fantastic set of postcards to get us going. Next, we have a sticker of a cauldron bubbling away. That can go in my diary at some point. And we're kicking off with a courage ritual kit. Now, I say this every video. I love the aesthetic. I love that Witch Casket every month change their branding up a little bit to match whatever the theme of the box is. So here we've got bold burgundy red. We've got shining yellow. We've got this style that's almost reminiscent of knights and chivalry. Um, this is fantastic. We've got this bat symbolism here with the skull and what looks like possibly some kind of love heart with swords. Possibly the three of swords or something like that on it. I'm not quite sure. Um, but this ritual kit contains everything you need to leave your fears behind. I can think of lots of things I could use this for right now because 
Fair has been showing up for me a lot in the last week or so. So let's have a look see. Now the thing I like about the Witch Casket kits is you can use the kits exactly as they are. If you're a beginner, you're tight on time, you're tight on energy, you just don't fancy writing your own ritual, writing your own spell, anything like that. These kits are great for just making things happen very quickly. I like them because there are days when I do not have the energy, you know, I, I, I'm chronically ill. I do not have the energy to put spells and stuff together. So it's nice to grab something that someone's already put together for me. I will probably add something to it to give it my own little twist. But generally speaking, um, that's what I may do. Equally, they're great for if you're not going to use the spell, just popping the spell into your book of shadows. If you think that it might be useful later on down the line and popping the items and the ingredients into your own little herbal spell cabinet or apothecary, depending on what you've got. Um, so let's have a look, see. We've got a white tea light candle and a bag of what looks like chamomile flowers. Now the baggies and all the packaging for which casket are always recyclable or biodegradable. So you know, no worries there. These little packaging puffs that you can see are compostable because they're made out of cornstarch. Um, this is a nice way of adding to your herbal repertoire if you don't have a lot of herbs on hand. We've also got some cards here, two cards with this interesting pentacle wand type mirror type design. And on the back, it says, I rid myself of the following fears. That's what it says on the back. And you've got some space to actually write down your fears. Now, these could be abstract fears, big fears, big anxieties like, you know, dying or being alone. They could be smaller fears like, you know, for myself, sometimes using the telephone is hard. Um, they could be mundane things like dogs or water or anything like that. They could be more magical or mystical or emotional based fears. So you've got some nice space there to write it all in. And this courage ritual has this lovely blue, uh, blue, black heart on the back with all this lovely heraldic yeah, this echoing back to what I was saying about knights and chivalry, this heraldic sort of concept, you know, of fearlessness, of bravery, of courage. So strongly the 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 aesthetic and the thought process behind the intention of the, the artwork is so so strong, the branding so strong. So courage ritual, it is chamomile. Steep it in a cup of water, note down the things you fear, light the purifying candle. Of course, you can add to this spell, so you could put a couple of drops of something like cinnamon oil on the candle for courage, if you wanted to. And then you burn the paper. So it's a, it's a it's a it's a burn blend, basically a burn spell. Fantastic. Take the ashes and pour the chamomile infused water over them. Soak them and bury them. Fantastic. There's some nice little chants there to use in the spell as well. This is a nice spell. I like this. I like this. And I like the fact that Witch Casket actually has witches on staff to actually create these sorts of spells and, and these sorts of rituals. They're not just, you know, branding themselves as for witches. They're actually by witches as well. So this is fantastic. Next up, we have Morning Sunshine Tea for confidence, positive energy and joy. OK, trying that in the morning definitely and then the essential herb of the month is rue mental strength healing health and protection rue is fantastic for protection especially rue candles protection and bane for work not just beneficent and here we've got a nice little again biodegradable baggie of rue fantastic to add to your witchy stores oh 
Oh yes, brilliant. Right, so I love the enamel pins every month. I'm a bit of an enamel pin junkie. And this one says Fearless Witch on it. So it's actually the same as the postcard. I like the connection there. They did a pin in a previous box. Did they do a pin in a previous box or was it from... Did I buy it online? I might have bought it online, actually. I tell a lie. I bought it online. I've got a pin that's called um, Badass Witch. This could go with it. Fearless Witch. Definitely going to be putting this one on to see me through the next few months, at least. And of course, with the pins, don't forget, you can enchant them, empower them. You can work your own magic on them so that they become talismans of your intention of your spell work. So it's not just an enamel pin that you're getting in the boxes. You're getting an option here to actually empower this, charge it for your own purposes. So yeah, fantastic. Next up is what looks like a gold tea strainer, tea infuser with a crystal on the other end. That's different, unique. There we go. And you just, I've used this type before, you just swing it open like this, pop your tea leaves inside, close it. She says, there we go, close it, lock it, pop it in your tea, let it infuse. And we've got this crystal on the end, which looks to me like red jasper. This is a good stone for courage, good stone for getting things done and taking action. Let's have a look. Card says, red jasper tea infuser, stone of courage, stamina and vitality. Great idea. Absolutely great idea. Definitely for those morning teas when I'm not feeling great and I need an extra bolt of something to get me going. Fantastic idea there. Okay. Now we've got what feels like a bag of crystals and it actually says Courage Crystal Set. Again, loving the aesthetics, the vibe, the colours. Colours are so me. Very autumnal. So me. Let's have a look what's in here. Oh, right. Oh, OK. So we've got... I don't know if you can tell, but we've got four crystals here. We have, and my crystal knowledge is going to show me up here because I'm not sure what some of these are. So first up we have this one. Which I'm not sure what it is but I'm sure that the booklet at the end will tell me. I love the different patterning in reds and greys and slightly purpley that we've got here. This is lovely. This one looks like carnelian. Nice tumble stone. I want to say brown tiger's eye could be wrong. Could be wrong. And this hulking boy. No idea really what this is. Could be red jasper again. Could be. But this is a much bigger crystal than the rest of these. If you can see. This one it feels like it's on the tip of my tongue and I'm not sure what it is, but we'll get there. Nice little crystal set. You could use them together in a grid as a, as a little pouch. They do come in this little pouch that you could just pop in your pocket um, to carry around with you. Don't forget when you're using anything like crystals to take the time 
to awaken the spirit of the crystal before usage and asking for the stone people's help with your intention as well as cleansing and charging etc so many people forget to actually awaken the spirit of the stone and ask for its guidance and its help um so that's a tip then we have this Ooh. I love the sticker here, the design on the sticker, these two candles, the cauldron, the crystals, the herbs, the moon. This is very pretty. I don't want to ruin it. Let's see if I can get it open without damaging the sticker too much. Yeah, there we go. Put it down the side. And it is Urban Loon, Sandalwood and Amber Wax Melt. And lots of things. It's a wax melt. Maybe. If on skin, wash with plenty of soap and water. If on eye. Yeah, I think it's a wax melt. So you would pop this in your oil burner instead of your traditional water oil blend. And it would melt and release scent. Um... It's a great way, mm, smells nice, of trying out particular scents before you invest in a big candle if you are thinking of trying a scent out for a candle company you don't know. Um, yeah, and I like the pentacle on the back. Um, give that a try at some point. Next is, we've got a red jasper key ring. Simple way to carry the energies of red jasper with you for courage, empowerment and endurance. That's very pretty. And again, I love the the aesthetic, even down to, you know, the tea infuser and the key ring. These could have quite easily been silver tone. They're not the gold tone, brass tone. So we've got that. It's carried through from the, you know, from the aesthetic of the box is carried all the way through. This is lovely. So nice. So nice and perfect for, you know, both um, August in the sense of these are very bold sun colours, but also the starting of autumn because they're also very good autumnal colours. And then we have what looks like a wooden box. Nice and light though. Yeah, it's a wee wooden box to keep your goodies in on your altar or shelf or otherwise. It's a nice size. I'd say it's about 3 by 3 maybe. Yeah, something like that. Um, pentacle on the lid and you can quite happily fit your crystals or what have you in here for safekeeping could also use it as a travel altar box if you did a lot of traveling not that we are doing a lot of traveling with the world of the state it's in but you could quite easily make this into a mini altar kit for carrying with you it would also be something to keep your smaller magical tools crystals whatever out of sight on a shelf if you had it like this or in a drawer or whatever so yeah nice nice addition and then finally, we have the Witch Casket Scroll for this month. Now, I can't open these very well, so I always get a bit of help with my knife. But please be careful with your sharp implements. Just move that out of the way. And we've got Courage slash Confidence Boosting Tools in Magic. Fantastic. So even with the world, and you know, I keep talking about the world and the state it's in and because it's on everybody's minds. But even if we weren't in the predicament that we are in at the moment worldwide and for each individual country as well and for each individual person as well, um, even if none of that was happening in the background, courage and confidence are massively important in witchcraft. You've got to have the confidence to be able to stand in circle or in compass or whatever and call on your 
healthy ancestors, your deities, your um, elements, uh, elemental rulers, if you use and interact, if you use, if you work with any of those beings. Um, if you don't, because there are many varieties of witchcraft and you may not, you've still got to have confidence and courage in your beliefs, your intentions, the work that you're doing. So these are really important skills to learn and to encourage, um, not just out there in the wider world, but also in the practice of magic in general. And again, we've got this bat scroll, bat scroll, bat skull image on the top of the scroll, heraldic imagery. And there you go. Crystals, herbs, candles, carrying the magic, whoops, ritual baths and some books, notes about books as well. So they don't recommend any books in particular, but they do um, give you some advice about how to use books in confidence magic. Um, we've got crystals, crystals, bloodstone, carnelian, malachite, red jasper and ruby. I would add to that... Um, Garnet is a fantastic one. Not that I'm biased, but I use a lot of garnet. Um, garnet is fantastic for courage. It's for loyalty. It's for commitment. So, yeah. Um, herbs, candles, um, carrying your magic, ritual baths, books, etc. So, yeah, this is a nice scroll to add to your wall, to your book of shadows, to take the information out of, however you want to work with it. So let's look at the booklet. Courage, August 2020. What a great theme. What a great theme. And I love how this here could be seen as a witch's hat or could be seen as the blade of an axe, both of which highly appropriate for courage. And of course, courage coming from cur, meaning the heart. Um, so, you know, having this deep centred courage within yourself to be who you are, practice the way that you practice and not feel any doubt or shame for that. Very important. So, a little note from Deb and Ella, the creators of Witch Casket. Very inspiring and uplifting. And then Courage Crystal Set. Here we go. Tiger Iron, Sardonyx, Chinese Bloodstone and Red Jasper. So, finding the crystals again. Oops, no, I thought I'd put them in there. I took them out. So I'm finding the crystals again. So this is tiger iron, not tiger's eye. I knew I was slightly off. Should we get a good, there we go. Yes, no, gonna focus, there we go. Tiger iron, which is strength, confidence, stamina and energy. Ah, now I said that this was carnelian and it's actually hmm. this is probably your red jasper possibly your sardonyx actually that's sardonyx so this is your sardonyx which is courage happiness and protection this is your red jasper for strength, overcoming problems, endurance and fearlessness. And this is your Chinese bloodstone. I nearly said bloodstone, but it really threw me how it was not. Whoops. The usual greeny colour of bloodstone. Chinese bloodstone, which I can't seem to get a good focus of for you guys. Hey ho. And this is for grounding, personal healing, courage and wisdom. Wooden Pentacle Altar Box. Courage Postcard Collection. Corresponding with others, framing them, adding them to your grimoire, etc. Sticker, Ritual Kit to extinguish self-doubt. Fearless Witch Enamel Pin. Parchment Scroll, the Tea Infuser, the Rue. Keyring, the tea made by Tea Cakes of Yorkshire, and the Pentacle Wax Melt, I was right, by Urban Loon. 
to put in an oil burner, sandalwood and amber. Fantastic. And it gives a shout out to the suppliers as well, which is fantastic. What a great box. What an absolutely fantastic box for this time of year. Wonderful. So I'm really excited to see what the September box is. I'm really grateful for this box. I think that, you know, I will get a lot of use out of the items in this box, whether they be as intended or whether I'm called to work with things otherwise. And I'm just really for looking forward to wearing this pin, drinking the tea, adding the cards to my wall and generally just enjoying the goodies in this box. So thank you very much for joining me for this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful. As always, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share. Feel free to ask me any questions or give me any comments in the box below. I'll get back to you as and when I can. And look out for more unboxings from me. And also coming soon will be some on-camera um, videos. I could use some of these items to help me get courageous for those. And I will see you next month with another unboxing video and hopefully some interesting things in the meantime. So take good care and many blessings. Thank you.